Having an iconic lava lamp was probably one of the coolest things growing up. And if you didn't spend hours watching them bubble and color and rise and all that good stuff, but uh, did you know that there is a science behind it all? The Discovery Science Place here in Tyler is always looking for fun ways to fuel curiosity and learning in East Texas kids. And this morning, they're taking us back all the way back to our childhoods with a special experiment that has to do with making your own lava lamp. So this morning we're joined by Aaron and Carol. Thank you all for waking up with us this morning. And this looks like a lot of fun. Can you tell me more about it? Yeah, thanks for having us. We love to come in on these Mondays. It's so fun. So we have a DIY lava lamp. And the cool thing is you don't have to plug it in. Mm -hmm. You just need vegetable oil and Alka-Seltzer tablets to make it work. So I've kind of gotten these ready, but you can see the food coloring and the water are at the bottom, but if, and then you top it off with oil all the way, vegetable oil. And I wanted to show this because you can see as the oil goes in, it kind of mixes it all together, whereas ours are settled out. And the reason why is because you have the two liquids with different densities. So the water is more dense and it's gonna to sink to the bottom and the oil is less dense on top. So and if y'all wanna go ahead and drop just little pieces of Alka-Seltzer mm -hmm. in, when we put it in, you're gonna see a reaction. And if yours isn't reacting enough, go ahead and drop another one in. Nice. But the um, Alka-Seltzer, as it dissolves, it releases carbon dioxide gas, which is what is gonna bubble up and it's gonna take that food coloring with it. And as the gas is all released, then it's gonna settle back down to the bottom and you can just keep on activating it. That's awesome. <laughs> so, so the bubbles, uh, they're rising because that's you know chemicals being released with exactly. inside. And, there, and the, it's a gas, so it's going to be less dense than the liquid. It's going to go up through it and release. And that's how you'll know it's kind of done working when there's no more bubbles, and then you can drop another piece in. Nice. So when the reaction um, ends, mm -hmm. is this something that you know I could come back to tomorrow and redo it if we left it here? Yeah, that's what I love about this. It'll settle back. You can come back, drop some more Alka-Seltzer. You can use the whole box and have a two weeks of, your, <laughs> of a nice. lava lamp going. So eventually it'll just uh, stop working, I guess you yeah, could say. Yeah, probably the oil might might get old, but, but I mean, it, it's going to last for quite a while at home. Nice. And what should you do with it once you finish? How do you properly, you know, dispose of it? Because the majority of it is oil. You don't want to pour it down the sink. So what we like, we're going to pour it back into this bottle and then dispose of it. But if you did it in a two liter bottle or a water bottle at home, you could put the cap back on and throw it away. I wouldn't put the cap on though, if you have a lot of bubbling action going, because you never know that gas could get oh, yeah. built up in there. So you want to let the gas escape while the Alka-Seltzer. Yeah, nice. we can this is a lot of fun. a few more in there. <laughs> Very easy too, because it's just a couple of simple ingredient, ingredients that you can get at CVS. Um, so really uh, would y'all be able to tell me more about what y'all have going on at Discovery Science Place this month? Absolutely. Spring is gearing up for a yes. big, big time. We have tonight the Kids Club Magic Club Nice. Um, at 6 p.m. at Discovery Science Place. Mm -hmm. And then uh, following that will be the adult time. Uh, we ask that the parents stay with the kids for the uh, kids club. And then um, kids are welcome to stay with us at the adult time. Mm -hmm. And then for spring break, we have K through third spring break camp. Nice. It'll be the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And mm -hmm. um, it'll be uh, modeled after our Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle exhibit. So every day will be a different color to wear. And speaking of the turtles, we do <laughs> have um, the private parties available um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, mm -hmm. 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. So there's some spots left to book your private parties with the turtles. Yeah, have your birthday party with the Ninja Turtles. Yes, and one last thing, we are having a full Steam Ahead event. It's celebrating makers of science, technology, um, engineering, art, and math. And we're looking for makers. Um, it's free to have a booth and to showcase your whatever you make. And we're looking for performers. Mm -hmm. Uh, to come perform, it's going to be a fun time, April 15th. Nice. Yeah. So we're the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles event, that's all through April and into May as May well. May 21st, yes. yeah. Nice. Yeah. That sounds like a lot of fun. And you know what? Experiments like this is super easy. I mean, you can get this yes. stuff at even the grocery store, like Brookshire's and Absolutely. right there. Yeah, and you can just keep on... I mean, it'll keep adults and kids entertained. Right, yeah, for it's, a giving long me, time. it's giving me very yes, entertained. Yes. Yeah, no, this is super awesome. Aaron, Carol, thank you all so much thank for you, joining Chandler. us this morning, and we look forward to the next experiment that y'all bring to us. All right.